are from the progeny of Bilal. Bilal was unique. What made Bilal unique? By Allah, what made Bilal unique was that he remained steadfast in the most difficult time. Besides Bilal, radiallahu anhu. Besides Bilal, they would beat him and then they would say to him, Is Lat and Uzza your Lord? And finally they would say yes. At occasions, a spider would be walking past and they would say, Is that spider your Lord? And they would say yes. He says the only man that they couldn't break was Bilal. The only man. Why? Because Bilal broke them. Every time they would say, believe in Lat and Uzza, Bilal would say, my tongue cannot say that. And he would say, Ahad, Ahad. And all this persecution. And the Prophet ﷺ would see this persecution. And one day he went and he said to the Sahaba, he said, isn't there anybody out there who can buy Bilal and free him? Look at the torment that he goes through. And Abu Bakr was Abu Bakr. And he went to Umayyah bin Khalf. And he said to Umayyah bin Khalf, he said, send me Bilal. And Umayyah bin Khalf said, yeah, I'll sell him to you because you're the one who corrupted him in the first place. So Abu Bakr said, how many? How much are you going to sell him for? And he said, I'll sell him for 10 gold coins. And Abu Bakr radiallahu went home and he bought back 10 gold coins and he gave them to Umayyah. And Umayyah began to laugh. And Abu Bakr radiallahu said, Oh Umayya, what are you laughing for? And Umayya said, Abu Bakr, I swear by Allah, if you had haggled with me and you had offered me one gold coin for Bilal, I would have sold him for one gold coin. And Abu Bakr radiallahu turned to Umayya and he said, Oh Umayya, I swear by Allah, if you had haggled with me and you had asked me for a hundred gold coins for Bilal, I would have given you a hundred gold coins. I would have given you a hundred gold coins. Abu Bakr bought him and he freed him. And then what would Abu Bakr say about Bilal? He would say, Bilal Sayyiduna. Bilal is my master. 